uh, <laughs> and I thought that this game was played exactly how we thought it was going to go. As you can see, they got their entire team inside in the lane. Very hard to get baskets in close. I thought that Michael made a nice play right here to Ken for one of uh, our few easy baskets. But as you can see, we got two guys inside on Eschmeyer. We're daring their other four man to, uh, to shoot the ball. And we tried to double team when we could. Ken did a great job of, uh, of getting him right there. I'm not sure Jason would do that again if he had uh, to rethink it, just pushing guys. But I'm sure the emotions, he got caught up in that. Nice play here as we talked to Sean, somebody that's come off the bench, giving us some pretty good offense. As you could see also, the score was pretty low. And uh, you just can't get a whole lot of opportunities against these guys. They just pack it in, forcing you to make plays like this one, uh, where you're going to have to shoot the ball on the perimeter or possibly get some penetration and kick the ball back out. We were very good defensively in this game. Uh, good blocking out uh, on the interior guys, but you have to give up something. We start packing it in sometimes on Eschmeyer. They have three other kids that can shoot the ball on the, behind the three-point line. But Scooney comes down and matches uh, Lepore's three with one of his own. One of the things that's interesting about Northwestern is uh, they don't take very many mid-range shots. They'll take threes or they'll shoot the ball in the lane with Eschmeyer. As you can see, nothing uh, inside the three-point line with the exception of Eschmeyer. A very good three-point shooting team. That's what makes them difficult to defend because if you pack it in too much on Eschmeyer, they can shoot the three. If you get outside too far, they can go inside to uh, Eschmeyer. But we just felt that we needed to wear them down and keep our relentless pressure on them from beginning to end. Uh, Scooney forces the turnover, finishes it off with a steal and, uh, and a layup. And at this stage was one of the few times during the course of the game that we actually even got the tempo going up and down in our favor. But as, a, as you can see here, we really like to get Mike isolated at the top. A, a killer crossover dribble. Very difficult player to guard as we've talked all year long one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but now we're trying to get Michael to become more of a well-rounded player. He makes a nice dish to Brian. This is a sequence we'll see a little bit later. We work on this in practice every single day where we drive baseline, throw to the opposite corner. We'll get Scooney a similar play. And now we'll try to get him one pass to the corner, one more pass to the top. And this is stuff that we got, try to get guys in the right positions. And our guys are really executing very well at this stage. Gets Nishon for an open three. And uh, as you can see, we're up by nine points at this point. These guys don't go away. And uh, bad shot on their part. We played very good defense. Just a real good bounce by them to get a tap in for uh, Tavares Hardy. But this was going to go right down to the end. One of the outstanding plays that you'll ever see. A steal dribbling while he's on the floor. Doesn't pick the ball up while he's dribbling. Gets it going again somehow. Finds Nishon for a terrific steal, athletic play, and a great pass. One of many plays of the year for Scooney. Scooney's been playing great. And now we really step up our defense. We're in the backcourt. They're a little tentative. Nishon gets into the act defensively, makes a great steal and a layup. This puts us up by nine points. Uh, I'm sure the Coleman's are looking at this and saying, that can't be my son. Uh, but nevertheless, the emotion that goes, in, goes into this. Great defensive play by Jason. He and George Reese were terrific all game long, uh, battling against somebody that is significantly bigger than they are. And I thought that we did a good job with defensive pressure once again. Michael getting double teamed at the top, doing a good job of recognizing the double team, finding the Sean for a wide open shot in the corner. And uh, we go up by 10 points. Um, again, trying to get the ball into Eschmeyer. Jason with his quickness, athleticism, makes another great steal on their attempt to pass inside. Uh, and as you can see, uh, a terrific win for us, beating this team by 10 points, holding them to only 49 points. Like you said before on senior night. And, and as you can see, we start right off trying to go to Mike and Wisconsin defensively, just like Northwestern. I thought Northwestern gave us a real good opportunity to prepare for this game. You're not going to get a whole lot of opportunities to get inside them. They stay inside. They don't get, really get on you on the perimeter. But getting inside is very difficult. You can see them all collapsing right there. But Michael just had two great sequences where they collapsed. He dished for, to Scooney for an open three. And here he is, gets some penetration and gets fouled. Uh, this is a very difficult team to play against because they run their offense exceptionally well. Real good guards. Ty Calder went on penetration to Andy Kowski for a dunk inside. Uh, we run a little screen here for Scooney. Scooney was on fire. Great job by Ken Johnson screening. And uh, Scooney really got us going. Terrific game. I think 14 points in the first half, 16 in the second half. But they spread you out a little bit. 
and they can shoot the three. They have a lot of guys on the perimeter that are very good perimeter shooters, and that's what makes this team hard to play because they run their offense for long stretches. Uh, at the end of the half, winding down, again, we just get Michael isolated. As you can see, four red jerseys in the paint. Michael's got to make good decisions whether he has his opportunity or to find an open guy. He opts right there to make a basket. I thought that was a big play for us. It got it to three. We were down by five. Not a real good defensive play by us in that we don't help out on the screen. Brian Brown just gets clocked on that screen. We don't go, do a good job of finding his man. They make a three. Uh, but here comes Scooney right at the time when we're down eight. And uh, he feels like it's his time to try to get the game in our hands. Makes a great pull-up three in transition. Gets us a chance to get back in. We're down five here. Now they're running out at him because he's making threes. Goes by him off the dribble. As we talked about, great decision. You can't get all the way to the basket. Pulls up in the lane for a nice, clever, short jump shot. Uh, timeout. We're back in the picture. We're only down by three. We're trying to pick up our defensive pressure. They make a mistake by floating the pass. Uh, we had a good trap, Sanderson on a real good steal and finish. And I think right here, uh, we're right back in the picture. We have a lot of momentum going in our favor right now. Crowd's getting us energized, as you can see. And, uh, and our guys are playing real strong right here. We run a little sequence for Mike. Uh, Mike takes a long shot. Good job by Ken Johnson. Ken was a little bit lethargic in the first half. We got on him some uh, at halftime. He came out, played a lot more possessed. Great offensive rebound basket for him. Very hard team to guard. They screen the ball a lot. Uh, good guards. They make shots on the perimeter. There's no way that these guys were going to go away. So this was going to go right down to the wire. Every possession became very critical. Unbelievable play here by Scooney. They hedge on the screen, slips the screen, left-handed to the opposite corner. And we make a big three for uh, by Nishon. I think gives us a lead right here. Seen that before from yes, Nishon. That's right. And, it, and the thing about that is when we go to the baseline, we want somebody to fill the other corner. Nishon was right where he needed to be. But you can't sleep on this team. Sean Mason, one of the premier guards in the conference, one of the leading scorers, buries another three. Just when maybe you think you have it going, uh, those guys are not going to go away. Scooney again, penetration, pull up. And right now he's just thinking in his mind this is his game to win. And he's playing with an awful lot of confidence. We're up by three. Uh, they shoot a shot. You can see real good blocking out right here. Uh, we get another opportunity to get transition. As we talked earlier, Wisconsin defensively very similar to Northwestern. You don't get too many opportunities to get transition baskets. Nice lob finished by Michael. Three-point play. Gives us an opportunity maybe to go up by seven. Uh, we're down to five here. Critical basket. Uh, amazing range on Scooney's shot right here. They're playing zone. As you can see, four seconds on the shot clock. We virtually had nothing going, and he just wills us to win. And that put us up by about eight points at the time. And from there on out, we just had to manage the clock at the end of the game. But a real good uh, finish for our guys. As you can see, uh, real happy. I thought that when the game was over that uh, Michael and George third, uh, stayed outside did their version of the dirty bird. Yeah, anyway, a little you know, bit of a tough place to play on this day. They've done very well at, at home this year. They've lost uh, some tough games early to uh, Michigan State and Indiana. But as you can see here, this is one of the problems that we are encountering when, uh, when Ken Johnson gets in foul trouble. Calvin Booth just backed George Reese right down under the basket. Uh, nice play here by Brian. This is when we are at our best, when we're able to get transition, get out and, and start running. But sometimes if you're not scoring, you have a little bit of a drought offensively, it's hard to, uh, to get into your pressure and get the game going up and down. But uh, as you can see, Ken is not in the game right here. We run a little screen for Mike. They switch it, and Scooney does a great job of finding the open guy, which was Brian. Very happy to see Brian make a, a three-pointer. He hasn't been shooting the ball all that well lately, but I think Brian played very well in this game. What usually is the case when you're sloppy on offense and you take bad shots or you have turnovers, it usually leads to easy baskets by the other guys. Uh, but here we come right back and we follow their layup. Scooney finding Michael for an open three. Michael was four for five from the three-point line in this game, Jeff, and, and he shot the ball very well. Uh, more transition. Again, we talk about this is when we're good. And when we're just pushing it, you can see we have numbers. Scooney, as he's been doing lately, uh, pulling up behind the three-point line as the defense drops back and makes an open three. This is towards the end of the half. We just try to get Michael some isolations at the top of the circle on in. And this is a big-time layup over a, a shot-blocking guy in Booth. And uh, that puts us up one. 
uh, and, and right now we're thinking that we're in pretty good shape uh, going down towards the end of the half. Nice play by uh, Joe Crispin here. Gets by our guys, we get a little bit confused on the switch. Calvin Booth follows it up with a, with a tap rebound dunk. And uh, that was the last basket of the half. As, as a matter of fact, we went up one at halftime. Uh, they come out firing, taking a lot of quick threes. But again, Scooney in transition. This is where he's very, very difficult to guard when he can get the floor spread out a little bit. And as you saw before, he pulls up and shoots a three. They got to get out and guard him. He's bright enough to know when they come out, he can go by them. We have to play a little bit of zone. We don't do a good enough job finding Crispin. And Joe Crispin, at this point in the game, really felt it. And you know he was in one of those zones everybody's talking about. And we find ourselves down four here. Scooney does a real good job of getting to the basket. But we all had to hold our breath on this one because he hit pretty hard. And uh, he's the type of guy that's not going to be complaining about being hurt, but he knew he was very sore. Stays in the game. Again, we try to get Michael a little bit isolated. We don't like Michael to just settle for three sometimes, but Michael felt it as well. And uh, he really felt that his game was on with this three-point shooting. More trend of, uh, penetration by Scooney. Try to get Kenny a little bit closer to the basket when he catches that. Makes the layup. And, uh, and now it's obviously coming down to the wire. We're down by uh, three points right here. And Danny Earl makes a great individual play. This is when I thought we really uh, managed the end of the game very, very well. We're down by five. Scooney takes it to the basket. Ken follows it up. We have to get into our fouling mode right now. We fouled. They made them. We came down and scored again. We find ourselves down five, out of bounds underneath. We just try to get Michael isolated again. We don't think that people can guard him one-on-one. -on -one. This puts us down three. We know we have to foul. Uh, they miss a free throw. Crispin shooting 90%. Down three. Scooney gets to the basket, finds Nishan. These are the type of situations we work on every single day. And should Nishan makes it to put it into overtime. And so we erase a five-point deficit in 35 seconds, which was a, a really nice thing for us to get us into overtime. But uh, in the overtime, it was all them. Joe Crispin, uh, this basket right here, two-on-one fast break. He pulls up and shoots a three. Uh, that made it eight points. Uh, to start the overtime, it was Joe Crispin, eight. And yeah. it was Ohio State, nothing yeah. in the overtime. And, uh, and he scores eight points in, in less than a minute. Sure. Two threes, a layup. And we're struggling on offense with Scooney not really being himself after the fall. And we just didn't have enough in the overtime.